Chinese students make up the largest single national group of international students at university. If we look last year at 2013, that's now over 4,000. So you can see there's been quite、um, a significant increase. Chinese restaurants are also emerging quickly alongside the growing Chinese population. More than 10 Chinese restaurants have set up their businesses in West Street in the last few years. There is a new Bong restaurant opened in 34 Chipo Line. The owner of the restaurant, Penny Lloyd, also wants to share the huge Chinese students' market. However, it isn't easy for any new business to survive as the restaurant industry is becoming more and more competitive. This restaurant has been running、uh, three weeks, just three weeks. We just open because we are doing the Malaysian food, which is in Nanjing, the Sheffield, and also the northeastern. Chinese food, so yeah, that's our biggest advantage. On the other side of the city, on London Road, restaurant dim sum looks sluggish. Photos with friends and celebrities carry sweet memories from the past. They also show in the restaurant's tradition and history. Traditional Chinese restaurant like Dim Sum has been open for more than 10 years. They are now facing more challenges from new born restaurants from West Street. Let's find out the secrets of kitchen. The key of making a top-class suma is the stuffing. The stuffing is a mixture of fresh minced pork, fresh prawn, dried shiitake mushrooms, as well as a little bit pork belly fat. Actually, my restaurant is the furthest from West Street. It's certainly the last choice for students at the moment. So the increasing competition among restaurants certainly affects my business. I always stress the quality of my food because we have to keep the food quality really high all the time to attract students to come to visit us. I have hired a new chef specialising in Sichuan cuisine, and we now have more choices of food for our customers to choose from. The new restaurants have started seizing the market. Meanwhile, the long-standings refuse to back down. In order to survive, each restaurant has to be unique.